your come to see the Baba Yaga for a story. <laughs> I have story for you. <laughs> this story tonight is I am alive. Can you imagine? One night falling asleep and then waking up inside a coffin in the 1970s a man was pronounced dead by the doctors and the coroner my friend whose drive hers told me when he was working in Slovakia that one day he was driving the hearse to funeral. As he was driving, he said he could hear sounds coming from the coffin in the back. It sounded like banging and moaning. He did not want to look because he was firm believer in the supernatural. He refused to drive anymore. He finally had to pull over, get out of the car. He was too scared to see what was happening. He called the boss man, explained what was happening in the car, this ghost or demon trying to come from the coffin. The boss man thought he was crazy, maybe had too much liquor in him. The boss man from mortuary came with his wife to see exactly what he was talking about. He could now hear faint banging from inside the coffin. They decided it was too important to open and investigate. Sure enough, when they opened the coffin, the body was dead. Was it a restless spirit? Refusing to cross over, refusing to accept his demise. Or was it a demon trying to escape? They got to cemetery, they explained to the priest what happened. The priest was extremely surprised. The family, not so much. Because, as they explained, the man in the coffin was a practitioner of the occult and did not believe that he would ever die. Everyone began to hear the moaning and the banging from inside the coffin. Everyone at cemetery could hear this. They called in a Baba Yaga to help with the situation. Baba Yaga brought a potion and burn certain herbs to help the man cross over into the next dimension. The Baba Yaga brought candles and brought incense to burn different herbs and tree twigs and branches. Everyone who knew the man knew he was into the occult but his mama insisted on a priest to be there to perform the ceremony. The Baba Yaga lit the candles, said some prayers, and the bump, bump, bump. Slowly stopped. She freed his spirit to go into the next life, wherever that may be for him. <laughs> A 
remember when it's your time to go. Go.